Hey friends, Dr. Tracy here. I wanted to sit down and chat because I was hanging out with one of my friends recently and she was telling me all about her little guy who has been suffering from chronic ear infections. He is nine months old and this entire winter season, anytime he would get sick, it would turn into an ear infection. It started just with the changing of the seasons. He had some sinus drainage and that turned into an ear infection. Then he started teething, ear infection. He got a common cold, which also turned into an ear infection. So the question she was asking me was, what is the actual cause of ear infections? The simple answer to that is that ear infections are caused by poor drainage in the inner ear. In our ears, we all have this structure that's called the eustachian tube. The eustachian tube is designed to help the fluid drain from the inner ear into the sinus cavity, down the back of the throat, into the stomach and digestive system so that we can eliminate it. Now, when that drainage doesn't happen properly, that fluid builds up. It leads to inflammation, mucus buildup, viruses, bacteria. It leads to the infection. It really creates the ideal environment for what's called an opportunistic infection. Opportunistic infections are usually caused by viruses, which is why antibiotics are typically not an effective treatment for ear infections and respiratory infections because antibiotics kill bacteria. They don't kill viruses. Now, young kids are much more susceptible to ear infections than adults because of the angle of their eustachian tubes. As adults, our eustachian tubes are angled downward like this. So you can see that the fluid would follow gravity and drain pretty naturally. For kids, their eustachian tubes are not fully developed yet, they're still horizontal, which means that the fluid is kind of having to work against gravity to drain properly. So if you couple that with blockages in the sinuses from allergies or colds, blockages in the lymphatic system from other illnesses, that's going to prevent that fluid from draining properly. Now, we have to dig a little bit deeper here though, because most often ear infections become chronic because there's an entire system that is not properly addressed. And that is blockages in what's called the neurospinal system. If there is misalignment, physical misalignment of the bones in the top part of the neck, right here, it's called the upper cervical spine, that's going to also prevent the fluid from draining properly. Blockages in the nervous system will affect fluid flow, but it also affects the immune system function, which is key for your child to heal and recover not only from ear infections, but from any other illness, virus, or bacteria that may come their way. So if your child has ear infections, or if you want to prevent your child from having ear infections, if you want to make sure that their body is functioning and healing at 100%, get your little one checked by a pediatric chiropractor. We will assess the function of their nervous system and help prevent the need for antibiotics and surgeries and any other treatment that has a harmful effect on their body. As chiropractors, we will address underlying issues to promote health and healing for the long term for your kiddo.